Forsake me not, O Lord, my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's ask God to be with us in his love and mercy. Now forgive us our sins as we confess them. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor messages from the prophets. And so let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from every side as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord, I say, you are my God. In your hands I'm, is my destiny, rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Lord be with you. This is a reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her and sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, what is it you wish? 
She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? And they said, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and my left, that is not mine to give. But it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be least among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, it was kind of obvious for us what Jesus was talking about, his death. He even says that he handed over the Gentiles. He's first of all, rejected by the scribes, his own people, handed over the Gentiles to be crucified, as we said, to be mocked, scourged, and crucified. But on the third day, he will be raised. No comment. Except the mother brings two sons, James and John, and says, can they sit at your right and left hand when you come in your kingdom? <laughs> What's going on here? This is the third time Jesus had told them or was telling them, getting them prepared to know he was going to be crucified. The first time was with Peter. I mean, with the other, everybody was around. And he said, I'm going to be handed over to, my, to the chief priests and scribes and, and, and to be, I'll be killed, but I'll rise on the third day. And that's when Peter said, Lord, far be it from you. We're not going to let that happen to you. Get behind me, Saint. You don't think like God, you think like man. I put him in his place, you know. The next time he says it again to the, the scribes and Pharisees, I mean to his disciples, it's going to happen the same thing, that he'll be handed over to his people and they will, he will be killed, but he will rise on the third day. And they didn't know what he meant by the third day. You know, they were kind of confused. And now he says this, and they don't even ask the question. Why? They've heard it now. This is the third time. They don't know what he's talking about. Pretty obvious to us what he's talking about. But for them, it was totally unheard of. The Messiah was going to be a great king. How can he be killed? Especially by the Gentiles, whom he's going to conquer. They just didn't understand what it was all about, and neither do we. We do not understand what suffering is all about. As he said to the two disciples on the road to Amos, uh, Amos uh, on the day of the resurrection, when they were confused and said, we thought he was to be the Messiah, and here he is dead, you know. Although some people say he's risen from the dead, whatever that means. Still didn't know. He said, did you not know that the Son of Man had to be suffer in order to in order in order to enter into his glory no <laughs> they didn't know that they should have but they didn't this is all new this is all different this is not the way god should act but this is the way god does act as he says in the end here you know that that's that that's, that blows our mind you know rather the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. This is God who comes here to die for us on the cross. Doesn't make sense to us humans. And that's why Peter, first of all, when he first time heard it, he said, this is not going to happen. We are not going to have this happen, Lord. Forget it. Get behind me, Satan. He has to keep telling us that today. Get behind me. Look for the, look for the, the way God wants us to do, live. 
And how was that? Suffering. Huh? Yes, suffering. That's the way we get to the kingdom. It doesn't make sense. To, well, why did we have to suffer to get that? I don't know. We will know that when we get to heaven. But Jesus is our leader. He shows us the way. And he says, take up your cross daily and follow me. That's one of the hardest things for us to do. Suffer. For ourselves and especially for someone we love so much. Our spouse, our children. If they die before us, it just kills us. Why does this have to be? Why didn't God change things? That's the way it is because of sin, because of the devil. And so all we can do is say, thy will be done. Let's pray that all of us will accept the cross in our lives, suffering and even death as God prepares us for that great glory in heaven, we pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, that he will be have thrive spiritually and physically, we pray to the Lord. For openness to the Spirit, that we may be attentive to the invitations of God to grow and change during this Lenten season, especially to our, by our prayer, fasting and almsgiving, we pray to the Lord for healing, that God will relieve the sufferings of all those who are ill, restore their strength as they recover and guide all who care for them, we pray to the Lord. For all recovering from winter storms, that God will protect them from harm, restore their utilities and make available the resources they need, we pray to the Lord. That all who are called to priesthood our religious life will have the courage to follow God's call, we pray to the Lord. For the special intentions of the living and for those who have died, especially Sharon Wetrick, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. O oh Lord God, we pray to you. We ask you to give us the courage and the strength and the Holy Spirit to suffer as Jesus does, to realize Whoever wishes to be great among us must be our ser the servant, and whoever wishes to be first among us, we must be a slave. Follow the, the Jesus who is the Son, who did not come to serve, to be served, but to serve and to give his life, life as a ransom for many. Help us to understand this and to put it into practice. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Look with favor, Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange, undo the bonds of our sins through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking in the body and blood of, G of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have, ta who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs through eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all, all, all praise and glory is yours forever and ever.
the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bestow upon your servants, Lord, abundance of grace and protection. Grant health of mind and body. Grant fullness of fraternal charity and make them always devoted to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve the Lord.